Okay, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new, I am Shayla. If you watched my last vlog, then you know I was a little sick last week. It was just a cold, thankfully, and I'm feeling a million times better today. I do still have slight sniffles, which I don't love, but I'm, I'm taking the wins as they come. And as long as I'm feeling better, that's all that matters. It feels like I've been sitting at my computer for the last 48 hours straight. I got a big, much needed and very welcomed hit of inspiration to finally finish the guided planner slash journal that I've been working on for the last eight months. And I also had a big download of inspiration and ideas for a couple of new programs, which I'm really excited about. So I've just been in full blinders on grind mode, which has been great, but I need to get up and move my body, get my hands busy a little, not look at a screen. And even though it's Wednesday and I usually do my reset days on Sunday, I thought I would do like a little midweek reset because I feel like things are feeling a little disorganized in my bathroom, mainly my bathroom cabinet and in my kitchen. And I want to just do a little deep clean, you know, like a mini full reset. I also will not lie, I am hungry right now and I'm feeling like making a little roasted pureed soup. I'm thinking like carrot, apple, and onion would probably be really yummy. Onion, oh yeah, and we'll do some garlic too. It is really feeling like fall for the last couple of days. I know I said that last week, but the temperature has definitely dropped, which, I'm okay with. I like fall. I'm cool with fall. It has been extremely rainy out the last like four or five days, which I don't love. <laughs> I mean, it's like nice for a day, but then it starts to get a little depressing, especially if you're sick and not feeling well. Luckily, the sun is out today, which makes me very happy, even though it is on the chillier side. I'm just feeling like this is a good time for me today to get my kitchen sorted, get my bathroom sorted, do a little clean, work on my fall goals, because I am doing my goals seasonally this year. I'm just kind of hit the reset button a little bit. I do want to do my closet and stuff, but I did order a few new pieces for fall, and I kind of want to wait till that stuff comes in. So not sure if I will get to that in this vlog, but we will be getting to that at some point soon. In the meantime, I'm going to get this soup going. You, in the meantime, Definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not already. We'll hang out for the next day or so. Little days in my life in New York City vlog. For this roasted pureed veggie soup, I'm just gonna put some parchment paper down with my veggies and olive oil. Very easy. You really don't have to chop anything up other than just cleaning up your veggies and peeling things if need be. Gonna drizzle that with a little bit of olive oil. Season it with salt and pepper. And then bake it until everything is soft slash golden brown. And then I literally just toss all of the roasted veggies in a blender with some water and vegan bouillon, or you can use veggie broth. And there you have it, your little soup. You can season it to taste at that point. Very simple little meal. And while that is roasting, I'm going to get started on my kitchen. I want to just reorganize all the drawers, purge anything that might be expired, make a list of anything that's running low that I might need, clean out my refrigerator, and just give the whole entire kitchen in general a good wipe down. This situation just made my entire apartment smell amazing. This is the vegan bouillon that I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna mix this with water. And I'm gonna use my Vitamix because there is a soup button actually on this blender. That is so good. Oh my gosh, yum. And I even have a little leftover for lunch tomorrow which I love. Yay, gonna finish my soup and then we'll get back to cleaning.
cabinets and drawers are feeling very good and very clean. It is now time to tackle this refrigerator, which is actually not that bad now that I look at it. Call me crazy, but a good little seasonal purge and clean out really just resets the vibe. I was already feeling pretty amazing today, but I'm feeling so good right now. Just like allows you to obviously clean out the old so you can welcome in the new, but it also just helps you create space so you can call in more aligned things, you know? This is something I teach in the Yoga Inspired Life program and it is definitely a theme that is going to be intertwined in my new mini programs that I've been working on. Which, between you and I, I am so excited to complete them and share them with you. They're gonna be amazing. You're gonna love them. Speaking of love, am I the only one that loves a grape poppy? I was never like a really big grape soda girly growing up, but I randomly picked this up at Whole Foods when I was there and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I can't get enough, it's so good. Also, this is so random, but I found this up in my cabinet up there. It is a bottle of pink gin that I got in London in like 2018. I never opened it. It's just really pretty. And it's just been sitting up in my cabinet and I feel like I could kind of use it as decor maybe since I'm clearly not drinking it. Or maybe I'll have an excuse to drink it soon. Maybe I'll have a little gin and tonic when I launch my programs, I don't know. But I think I wanna like restyle my shelves a little bit. Nothing too crazy different because I'm pretty happy with the way that they look, but I'm gonna shift some things around, you know? Very into this. Wipe this counter down, wipe the cabinets down, and then I want to run to Trader Joe's and walk the dogs for a minute before I move on to the bathroom. Very small Trader Joe's haul. But first and foremost, I thought we needed to get some fresh flowers. Obviously, if we're doing a reset, we need flowers. So I got two bunches of roses, so pretty, they smell amazing. Fresh figs, broccoli and carrots, and of course, some ginger shots. It is officially jacket weather. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of excited, I'm not gonna lie. I really love fall in New York, it is just stunning. If you wanna shift the vibe in your home, treat yourself to fresh flowers. This is something that I love to do for myself every single week. Of course I should mention, when my boyfriend buys me flowers, I'm not mad about that. <laughs> love when he does that. But it's also just such a nice thing to do for yourself. And I love going to Trader Joe's because you can get bunches for like nine bucks and they're just beautiful. And they last usually up to two weeks and it just makes you feel good. And it's like investing in your abundance mentality and your feminine energy. And they just raise the vibration in your home. And I just, I'm just a big flower girly, that's it. Big flower girly. I sprung this week and got two bunches just because, but typically I'll just do one and it's enough and they're just stunning. By the way, we've moved on to my fall roll of film. If you missed that vlog, I am doing a new roll of film for every season and just taking the camera out and about with me, taking photos when I'm doing random fun things, and I'm going to get it developed at the end of the year as a little end of year gift to myself. Very fun, I need to put this out actually, because I need to remember to use it. I need a little snack before I tackle my bathroom cabinet, basically all my skincare. I'm going to do some dates, three to be exact, and sunflower butter. This combination is seriously so yummy. You take a little date that's pitted, squeeze a little sun butter in there or peanut butter if that is your vibe. And this is actually a great little pre-workout because we're going to Rise Nation in a little bit, but 
Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So good. Okay, I basically have an hour before I have to leave for my resonation workout, so I'm gonna speed clean this. I think I'm just gonna take things off shelf by shelf, wipe it down, and organize it. And if anything is empty like this, it's uh, going. How sad is this? Not throwing this away because I'm definitely gonna use every last drop of my Osea Mundaria Algae Body Oil, but I think I need to order some more. At least I still have a good amount of my anti-aging body balm. Thank goodness. Could not live without my Osea. Time to head to Rise Nation. Let's go, baby. Workout completed! Yay! That workout was so great. Feels so good to be back in the gym after taking the week off last week because I was sick you know, but we're on the mend. It's really fun because my friend and my boyfriend ended up coming with me to that workout. So that was nice. And then we got tacos after. Very full now <laughs> and exhausted. My body's exhausted. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and we're getting in bed and we're reading. By the way, I'm still loving my Jolie shower head like a lot, a lot. Good morning. Just realized that I am out of my barista blend oat milk and that is very sad because that means I can't make my coffee. Maybe we'll go out for coffee in a little bit. I have some appointments and stuff, but for now I think I'm going to try to make an iced coffee using this oat milk with seeds. It's probably good. It's just not as creamy as my normal morning coffee, you know? I like what I like, what can I say? Doing a packet of Lipospheric C and glutathione with my ginger shot, garlic kraut. Going to get a little bit of work done and then I only have like an hour and then I have an appointment. Off to European Wax Center. European Wax Center. No, this is not sponsored, although I would love for them to sponsor me. <laughs> but I've been going for like four months now and I just really love it. I also did throw my rugs into the laundered last night and they're all clean, yay. I need to vacuum still to complete this reset, but that's gonna have to be later because I booked a Pilates class and I need to leave for that in like an hour and I feel like I just really need to get some work done first before I start getting in cleaning mode again.
home to have some lunch, get some work done. I have a very busy afternoon, so I don't know how much I'm gonna see you this afternoon. But I made my vegan lasagna the other day, and I have one little square left, and I'm just gonna have that for lunch. Voila, I'm gonna heat this up and get cracking on my work because I have a lot to do today, I won't lie to you. It has been a day, a good day, but a long day. It's almost seven o'clock and my boyfriend will be here probably any minute with food. We're cooking dinner tonight together, so I don't have a ton of time right this moment. But a couple of the pieces that I mentioned that I ordered for fall came, there's still a few more and some things I might exchange out, but I thought I would show you anyway. Although I wanna like wait to do my closet till it all comes and whatever. But anyway, all this is from Revolve. I'll link it below and it's all linked on my Revolve Favorites page. But the first thing is the sweater that I am obsessed with. And if you are allergic to wool or you have sensitive skin like me, it's not itchy and we love that. It's just like such a fun color and it's super cozy. I also got this little keyhole sweater that is like open here with a little turtleneck. Love the color. Very similar style to that one, but this one is a bodysuit in this really pretty green color, which I'm very into. Finally caved and got a long denim skirt. I haven't tried it on yet, so I don't know, but I feel like it would be really cute with this sweater tucked in and some boots. We shall see. And then the last thing I got is this sweater and it's actually meant to go with a matching skirt because I do love a matching set but the skirt has not arrived yet. So I don't know if it's worth me showing this to you or not. I feel like matching sets are just so easy. It's like going to private school and having a uniform, you know? You're like, I just, I know what I'm wearing. I don't have to think about it. I know what the top goes with. I know what the bottoms go with. Great. Also like that you can wear them separately too. And I really like the material. It's like this little crop sweater. But again, once all my little fall things come in, I'll do a proper try on haul and we'll redo my closet. We'll do a little fall bedroom reset when all that stuff comes in and I sort out what's going on with my bedroom. Cause I think I might want to get new bedding. Big Brooklyn and girly, but I'm getting ahead of myself now. That's for another day. I also always get asked if my windows open and they do. And I'm going to open them now because it feels a little stuffy in here. Cause I have some stuff in the dryer. They open up this way and they only open up a very small amount. So you wind this little handle and then it opens from the top. And that's about the max that it opens, but it does the job. I had all sorts of fun things planned to do outside, but that has all been canceled because it is just pouring rain, like dumping down pouring rain. But here's the thing about rain and also the thing about anything that you might view as a bummer. It just makes you grateful for the sunny days and extra grateful for the highs and the good times etc. So we're changing our perspective. I'm not going to let it get me down, although it's very depressing weather outside. <laughs> I'm determined to have a good day today regardless. I actually have a bunch of podcasting that I need and want to get done, so I feel like today is a good day to do that. I also feel like today is a good day to get some reading done. I'm a little behind on my yearly reading goal. I have a goal of reading 20 books and I feel like I'm like eight books away still, which is quite a few books that I'm going to need to get through by the end of the year to reach that goal, but I have a feeling I'll get there. But yeah, today's a good day to catch up on reading. I also want to think about my fall goals because as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, as well as in many other vlogs that I've posted this year, I am doing my goals seasonally. I've also shared about this on the Yoga Inspired Life podcast, and it's been a really fun way to do my goals and to give myself a little bit more time to achieve them versus just doing monthly goals. Side note, dinner last night was so good. My boyfriend made a vegan dish, which I was very surprised by. He's a great cook, so everything he cooks 
I really love, but that one was so simple and delicious. It was white beans with pesto, spinach, and lemon, and it was just delicious. Highly recommend. I don't know if he was following a recipe or not, but it was really, really good. And then also, I didn't want to say anything last night because I wasn't sure if I was going to share about this, only because I'm trying to learn how to set boundaries around what I share, and it's a little different now that I'm in a relationship. My life is intertwined with somebody else's life now, and it's like, what do I share? What don't I share? But I'm just like, I just want to share it with you. I got to meet my boyfriend's parents last night on FaceTime because they actually live in Australia, so we can't meet in person just yet. But that was really, really nice to get to chat with them on a video call. And they're just such lovely people and funny and kind and warm. And I figured they would be all of those things because they created and raised my boyfriend, who is all of those things. And that was just a very special milestone in our relationship, which was so nice. My boyfriend actually very briefly met my mom when she was here in July, but we were still pretty newly dating. So it was kind of like, she just happened to already have that trip booked. I normally wouldn't have introduced a guy that I was dating that soon to my mom. But again, since my mom lives across the country, it just seemed like she might as well meet him, you know, just in case things were to continue. But yeah, I think it's just a really special thing to get to meet the people who created whoever you're dating, you know? It just made my week. It was lovely. I was more excited than nervous, but right before we were about to hop on the call, I did notice that I got a little bit nervous. I think it's nearly impossible to not get at least a little nervous right before you're about to meet people who are extremely important to the person that you care deeply for because you're like are they gonna like me are we gonna vibe am i gonna like them <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I think it went really well and they just seem like wonderful people and I'm excited to meet them IRL when the time comes. Anyway, enough chit chat from me. I am going to get some journaling done first and foremost and work on my fall goals, podcasting, reading, maybe a little yoga later and we'll just kind of have a chill cozy day at home. It's not really much else for me to do again because it is just like just like a flash flood warning happening today. Pretty hectic out there today, like really hectic. So we're gonna stay inside as much as possible. It's 6.30 and I'm just in the mood to prep dinner. I'm also gonna take a nice little bath, do a face mask, but if you know me and you know me well, then you know that if I'm eating dinner alone, I like to be clean before I eat, but I like to prep my food before I get clean. I can't, I can't explain it. It's just the way my brain works, okay? I'm gonna do a veggie stir fry with a bunch of veggies that I have in my fridge. I'll show you in a minute. And I'm gonna do some sprouted tofu with some yuzu miso glaze. Let's get going.
just having an extremely wholesome Friday night over here, I will not lie. Like, the most wholesome. And between you and I, I am not mad about it. I did not get to read today because I ended up working on some sponsored content that is due early next week, so that is my plan for this evening. This is the mask that I'm doing. It is the Unblemished Mask from Rodin and Fields. I'm going to finish reading my book, Confess. I have a sneaking suspicion that I will likely finish it tonight. I'm officially signing off for the evening. Thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new. I love ya, and I will see you in my next video.